Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Play with Toast. Um, today I am doing a Neopets Nurk mid run. Um, I've been saving up all my Nurk mids from Jetsam Ace for a while now and I've been excited to do, this is my first ever Nurk mid run, so yeah, I'm quite excited to do that. Um, I wanted to spice things up a little bit and because I am a fairly newer channel. I kind of wanted to give everybody a chance to know a little bit about me. So I am going to be going through um, with each Nurk mid and saying just like a random thing about me. Um, so yeah, I wasn't sure how many Nurk mids exactly I had, but I went into my safety deposit box and I saw that I had quite a few Nurk mids. So I was like, all right, we've got to do this um, Nurk mid run before it gets way out of hand. And I figured today would be the best time to do it anyway, because Neopets is going down in two hours um, for the NCUC update. That's going to be down for a little while. Um, so yeah, um, I hope that you're ready for this. I, you know, first of all, I want to say thank you for coming and, um, you know, get yourself a drink, some snacks. Maybe a little blanket, cozy up, get comfortable, and we're gonna see what these Nurk mids bless us with. Hopefully, we'll get so we'll get lucky and get something cool out of here. Um, so first things first, I wanted to say that um, I am called Toast because Toast has always been my gamer tag. Whenever I have made a character, they've always been called Toast. And it goes all the way back to, like, middle school, um, when I, this is so stupid, just jokingly, you know, said to somebody, like, I'm toast in relation to, um, like, being in trouble, you know, like, oh, I'm toast. And my friend responded with, oh, I'm Bob. And so from then on, like, <laughs> we just called each other Toast and Bob. So that's how that name came to be. So from then on, every time I made a character in a game, they were always called Toast. So, yeah. Let's see. Oh, and we get another Nurk mid. All right. So that means that I'm going to have to give another fact. All right. That's fine. So <laughs> um, other than that, um, my other name that I go by is Mimi, um, which is my family name, nickname. Okay, and we got some junk today. That's fine. Um, another fact about me is that when I um, was 18 years old, I got the name Toast tattooed on my arm. Yeah. Uh, another fact about me is that I actually have um, quite a few tattoos. Um, I have a lot. I have like seven or eight tattoos. Uh, another fact about me. My first tattoo ever was a butterfly behind my ear that was so bad everybody was like always like what is that is that the Gemini symbol what is that are those two hamps blue hamsters high-fiving what is that are those two black two bags flying in a wind I'm like bro it's a butterfly okay so I got that covered up <laughs> um, with another butterfly much better one that everybody can immediately tell what it is um yeah um um, I have a pug, which you can sometimes hear in the background of my videos because she's often triggered by something random, like a noise that she hears. And the first pet that I ever had was an orange cat that I got when I was five years old. And her name was Fiona. Another Nurk mid. Um, 
I grew up in California. That is my hometown. I currently live in Japan. And I hope that I'm out here for quite a while. I love it out here. I speak English, Spanish, and Japanese. Though I'm not very great at any of them. <laughs> um, English is my first language. I don't know if that should have been its own Nerf mid, but I'm not going to waste a Nerf mid on that one. Um... I have been playing video games my entire life. The very first um, game that I played ever was probably some like Disney games on the computer when I was like two, three years old. Some like Disney adventure games like uh, Aladdin or The Lion King. No, definitely Aladdin. Um... The first video game that I ever beat was Pokemon Yellow. When I was really young, the first system that I had for myself um, in my room was one of those black SNES. And um, the first games that I used to play on that were... Um, it was either Mortal Kombat or Aladdin. I don't know which one I had first, but those were the two games that I had for it. My, um, like, history with Neopets <laughs> is I've been playing Neopets since I was, like, 11 years old. And I still come back to it um, periodically. And I'm currently obsessed with it today. The last game that I beat was, um, I mean, technically Dreamlight Valley, but that's kind of open-ended. Um, and I haven't played the new expansion, so I don't know if that counts. But besides that, it was um, Harry Potter, or not Harry Potter, the um, Hogwarts Legacy game. Um, yeah. And then besides Neopets, the game that I'm currently playing um, regularly right now is actually Skyrim. My favorite movie as a kid was The Little Mermaid and Oliver and Company. I also obsessively watched that one a lot. Um, when I used to go to my grandmother's house, um, one of my favorite memories is that um, as a kid I used to always play Donkey Kong on her Super Nintendo and um, I used to watch Mary Poppins all the time. My first um, band obsession when I was a kid was the Spice Girls. Yeah, I still listen to them every once in a while today. Um, not very often, though. And I even had the Spice Girls movie. Uh, my favorite boy band uh, when I was a kid was the Backstreet Boys, and I don't really listen to them <laughs> at all today, really. Um, it's rare if I ever listen to them. Um, one of my favorite albums as a kid that I've actually been revisiting as of recently, um, and I've been listening to quite a lot, actually, um, is the Josie and the Pussycats soundtrack. Um, I'm sure it's because I recently watched the movie and I was like, oh my god, I re remember how obsessed I was with this. I started listening to the soundtrack.
um, all, all over again. And I'm like, this still slaps. <laughs> um, my favorite band, well, my favorite artist now, um, is like current artist is Ghost Mane. Um, but I also absolutely love Zoo. Um, and I listen to a lot of like old, um, like 80s golf music too. Like that's definitely my jam. I listen to some 90s as well. Um, music that I play, I don't really play any instruments now, but I have played the piano, the guitar, and the drums. Um, yeah. My favorite um comfort show to binge watch is actually star trek the next generation if i'm like even feeling remotely down or sick i will just put that show on it instantly makes me feel better um i also have a lot of other hobbies um in the sense that like i'm constantly trying new hobbies uh particularly i love to try new like art mediums or like any kind of like craft i i just enjoy that um i love working with my hands and anything creative um my main hobby besides gaming i actually collect um these like really expensive japanese dolls uh yeah that's definitely like my jam um I have spent way too much money <laughs> on that. Uh, yeah. Um, this is kind of random, but uh, I used to work for a balloon decor company where we would go to events and set up um, like balloon decorations. And it was often to like these really snobby places like uh super rich clubs and like there were celebrities there and there were like these really ridiculous rules where you couldn't like look them in the eye and if they were walking your way you had to stand to the side and let them pass and it was like really elitist and I was like I don't know how I feel about this now that was not the rules of the company that was just the rules when you were at the club and I mean I had a lot of fun with that job though um on the flip side, I have also worked um, an MLM job. Yeah, I was sucked into an MLM. And it wasn't even, like, anything cool, like, Sensi or um, anything like, you know, that. Uh, it was actually something I thought that was good. I thought it was to give out, you know... Um, humanitarian aid by giving out like free cell phones but it turned out to be a huge like government scam and pyramid scheme it was crazy um but it made my spanish a lot better <laughs> so i mean at least there's one positive out of it it was it was a total it was a total scam job though i like that was that was something else i learned a lot out of that one um I mean, I think I mentioned this in another video, but I have not seen snow until last year. Um, this time last year, it actually started having some snow flurries today, which I'm really excited about. Um, I, growing up in Southern California, never experienced snow. And then I moved out here, and it doesn't snow out here, but it snowed last year. And I was like, all right, that's dope. That's fun. I ran through it barefoot because I was like, I need to experience that. Why wouldn't I do that at least once in my life, right? Um, I've driven across the United States from California to Florida at least five separate times. That was fun. Um, I would do it again. Definitely recommend it if you haven't done that. Road tripping is one of my favorite things to do. Um... When I was a kid, something random that I thought that was obviously wrong um, is that I used to think that 
global warming literally was like a humanitarian effort to bring heaters to cold places so that people weren't freezing to death in the winter time like i literally thought that global warming was like an effort to warm people up little did i know <laughs> um yeah Um, my favorite, um, food that I could literally eat every single day, um, and not get tired of it is, uh, poke bowls, where it's basically just like sushi grade fish with, um, these really good sauces mixed up with some avocado and onions and cilantro. Um, yeah, that's my favorite dish, period. Um... My favorite smells are like some like fall scents and like warm scents, like um some like warm vanilla or amber, stuff like that. Absolutely love it. Like that's hundred percent my jam. My favorite book series um, that I've read in its entirety is the Harry Potter series. Uh, I know that it's controversial, but I mean, it just made such an impact in my life that I can't deny how much of an impact that series made in my life, so I will always have like a connection to it regardless um, how other people feel about it, and I understand I do. Um, but yeah, that is one of my absolute favorite book series. Like, it brings me so much comfort. And I can't deny that. Um, the last book that I read was um, Stephen King's The Gunslinger. I decided to attempt the um uh the dark tower series and i have i enjoyed it i need to keep going it's just a, it's been a minute since i've read it um that was the towards the end of last year but still i need to finish reading all those okay a woodland pet pet paintbrush. That's like the first decent thing that we got out of this machine today. All right. Shout out to Stephen King. No. <laughs> um, okay. And the last uh, book series that I was reading um, was some of the Bridgerton books. Um, I started off with one of like the offshoot series um, about like her cousin the Bridgerton cousins I forgot what those were called and then I started reading the actual Bridgerton books because I, I enjoyed the Netflix series and wanted to hit up the books and catch up before the next season comes out and I that's of course that's where I stopped I haven't even caught like forward you know so to say oh another Nerk mid um one of my favorite authors that I just really enjoy uh, reading his books is Philip K. Dick. Um, I love sci-fi, and I, I was just such a fan. Um, Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep and um, A Scanner Darkly was so good. Ubik, absolutely enjoyed that. Um, some really good stuff there. Um, back to gaming, my first MMO that I ever played was World of Warcraft back when that first came out. Um, but I still currently play, um, uh, MapleStory on and off, um, and I've recently started playing, uh, Star Trek Online 
with some of my friends. Oh, hey, we got our first paintbrush. This is not a pet pet paintbrush. Hey, that's what's up, origami. I don't think I'm going to paint any of my pets origami, but I'm definitely going to sell it. Yes. All right. Okay. Sweet. Shout out to MMOs. <laughs> Um, so like, you know how everybody says that it's like riding a bike, you know, doing it like anything. It's like, like riding a bike, right? Once you learn how to ride it, you technically will always know how to ride it. Well, I have never learned how to ride a bike. I had a bike when I was a kid and once they took the training wheels off, that was the end of my bike riding. I could not balance for the life of me. I still have such bad balance I will occasionally just fall out of a couch while I'm sitting in it. Don't ask me how. It happens. I will be completely stationary and fall over. My balance is, like, just so off. Um. I also have terrible allergies um, to the point where they used to make me physically ill. Uh, which is why my Neopets username is Sudafed, is because I swear I was living off of Sudafed, um, the medication. That <laughs> uh, was like the only way that I could breathe. I am so sorry if you can hear my stupid breathing problems in any of my videos. I know I can hear it, and just me pointing it out is probably going to make it now super obvious now that you are conscious of it. I hate that. I'm sorry. Um... But yeah, it's literally because I can't breeze through my nose, especially at night for some reason. Um, maybe it's my animals, but I I try my best to clean up. Like I vacuum at least twice a day, and sweep and take allergy medications, and I try not to rely too much on those. I'm spending way too much time talking about my allergies, but yeah, I've got allergies. Just know that it's bad. Got a second paintbrush today. Oh my god. Okay. Um, shout out to Sudafed. <laughs> okay. Um, this hasn't been so bad. We got two left. All right. So, um, what else? Um, damn. I'm like, I, am I even interesting? Like, I don't have anything else I can say. Like, I don't, I'm not interesting to myself. No, nah, um, I. Um, I guess another random thing about me is that I am a Nintendo girly. Um, I have owned most of the Nintendo systems, um, except for the Wii U, and I didn't own a uh Game Boy Advance until I was an adult. Um, but the Game Boy Color was my thing, and then the DS and N64. I played so much um, Pokemon. I played so much Pokemon. There was a time in my life where the only games I owned were Pokemon. And I currently, I currently have three Nintendo Switches. I had four, but I gave one to my best friend. Um, I have the first one that came out, the very first edition. Um, and then I got one for my husband with the colored Joy Cons. And then the Animal Crossing one came out, and I had to have that. And then I got the OLED. And then I gave my very first one to my best friend. And fading bottled water fairy. Okay, so I mean, we 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 put in what like 30, 30 something. I forgot what the number was. We put in like thirty something, um, Nerf mids in, and you learn thirty something facts about me, <laughs> and ended up with an origami paintbrush and a pirate paintbrush. And a woodland pet pet paintbrush. So I am curious to see, since none of them show up in the shop wizard, how much they pop up at the trading post. 
So let's check out. I don't know what any of these are going for right now. So, um, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Three point six mil. Three point three mil. Okay. So like three mil for the woodland. Um, and then we have the origami. I mean, the, the woodland paint pet pet paintbrush, I think it pays for the Nurk mids alone, you know, two mil, 1.7, two. Okay. That's not bad. Um, two mil. So we got about five mil right now and the pirate paintbrush. And that comes out to 1.2. So six. About well, six, six point two mil. That's not terrible. That's definitely a win on this Nerf Med run. Um, I was definitely hoping, not gonna lie, I was hoping for a Moroccan paintbrush so that I could use that on Janelle. Um, but I'm not complaining, especially seeing um that we got more than all the Nerf Meds were worth. And I know I started this Nerf Med run with like only three hundred and something Neo points, so I definitely got. 50 grand from doing the Nerf mid run and then all this, you know, crappy food. But okay, so thank you for mu so much for hanging out with me today during my Nerf mid run. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did, and um, I hope you found some of my random facts about me interesting. Um, comment down below what some of your own random facts or you know, maybe something that you thought. Um, that as a kid that was completely wrong that you found out later on in life. Um, I'd love to hear it. All right. Thank you. I will see you later. Bye.